Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to me being literally Hitler. I love saying that, because I am, I am just literally Hitler. That's what I'm doing, I'm just taking everything as Hitler. I'm li because I am literally Hitler, I'm just being Hitler, that's all I'm doing. And it's so easy and fun. See, I get why Hitler did it now, because it was fun. It's perfect logic. See, video games are good for people because they tell you why Hitler was justified. Because it was fun. Go take Paris. On Paris. Uh, you go make sure we have some supply lines, of course. And it's with this game. And then it was undefended. They just sweep in and take it. It's quite annoying. Ooh, the British have landed. See, this is what I was looking out for. Right, you turn around. You go there. You go up there. You go support that battle. See, we can't let the British land. They'll have quite a few troops. It's also, uh, oh, uh, yeah, let's go to here, make sure we, oh dear, oh dear me. Okay, arms and goods and goods and goods and goods, goods. So I don't think any of these places will actually make anything uh, for a few turns. They're not making anything at all. Oh, it takes a turn to register the change, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Conditional French surrender. France has sent a peace treaty with conditional terms for French surrender. Germany controls Paris and many French regions. Sorry, got the hiccups. Brilliant timing. Will you accept this peace or continue your attack? Continue the attack. I don't want it. Continue fighting. There's only what, 60, 40. Yeah, there's barely anything left of France. Only issue is the fleets will annoy me until I can take the rest of this, but... I mean, really, I could just force them out of Europe and then piece them out, so... Probably be easier. I just got to make sure that this battle isn't lost. It's going pretty well right now. Uh, yeah. Alright, so let's leave that. Let's carry on. Did we do... Did 140 turns in two episodes, and now it's all slowed down, because so I've got to keep checking everywhere to make sure no one's doing any funny business. Right, well, right, right. you two, you two merge, and then go take Denmark. You head down there, take the south of France. It's ending enough and tight. Ooh, that's actually not that much. Eh. Oh, we could leave these for Italy, though. Which I believe is actually what I'm going to do. Yep, you know what? These are elite. You want you want that area? You can have it. These 1,800 troops. I could go take Switzerland. Wouldn't be easy, but the Swiss... Oh, the cities aren't really worth it, are they? I might just take, like, Luxembourg and Belgium. Oh, Brussels is good. Yeah, I'm taking Belgium. Belgium, I want your stuff. All your stuff are belong to us. Belgium joined the alliance. Isn't going to help them. Apparently we're still not the most... Who is the most powerful in the world? The British alliance is still the most powerful in the world. And if the United States were to join them, that would just get even more so. Romania, did you just take... <sighs> Romania. Taking all that. Yeah, just take, take the Netherlands as well. Taking that Brussels. Brussels is a good city. I wanted that. Also, why haven't they... Oh, you know why um, they haven't fallen? It's because they are... The uh, Netherlands is one of those that actually did have a few colonies out here. Somewhere weird, isn't it? That'll take forever before they actually... What the... Oh! Oh, Romania took a... Ugh, Romania took part of the South France. Well, at least go take Republic and Spain, then. We need to start some more wars over here so they stop filling about. It's gonna, this is going to make a very messy map. I'm not going to be happy. There. Oh, don't tell me they have more holdings. USSR sent a treaty offering our nation an alliance. Yes. No. I want to. I really do want to, but it's not going to happen. Sad, but it will not happen. Yeah, you, you cancel. Find one tank. Right, split off one tank. You take a ship 
Oh, you damaged. I've been damaged. Ship. Let's go make a few ships. Let's go make a few anything. I need to still make arms. We'll look into what to actually do in a minute. Kunzberg, you can make. Where is it? Oh, there. Yeah, you may transport past you for a bit. How is, how's he going to make one a turn? Good. Yes, yeah, so you make a few of those. We'll uh, transfer it all over again in a minute. Ooh, apparently we're having a money issue. What? Japan has sent an alliance offer to India. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we need to. Okay, we need to. We need to rejig a few things. The goods issue is an issue. So I'll take that one, put them on goods, and it's not an issue. There you go. That's how it works. It really, is how it works. So very easy. The hell happened down here? I should have paid attention. I, I guess the lack of supply. They did just take all that back. Really, we need to take all of this. We need to declare war on Turkey, on Bulgaria, on Greece. Is Bulgaria part of ours? They're not. You're going to regret that, mate. Declare war. Romania, go. Hungary, go take them, please. I need a route into Africa so I can go remove all of their nonsense. Oh, damn it. France must have retaken Paris and now Romania has it. Go take it back. I don't, I don't want Romania having Paris. Look at this map. Look at this horrible blotchy map. It's terrible. It's awful. Uh, whatever. Maybe I'll just dissolve the alliance at the very end and take everything for myself. But that would be a bit annoying. Maybe I'll just be satisfied with a horrible blotchy map. Tibet surrendered to China. Am I at war with China? I thought I was. China, am I at war with you? I am. Japan, why are you so terrible? We're allied. Yeah. Go deal with China. Useless, useless people. Now, the biggest issue I should be concerned about now, I think, is the USSR. Rather powerful little nation. That's, and by little nation, I mean massive, great, big, horrible, dangerous nation. Because, really, it's the USSR. They're big, they're powerful, they're stompy, they're going to murder me. Should I take Scandinavia? It's probably worth it, isn't it? Uh, Sweden. Wait, hold on. Let's actually mass a few troops before we do this. That'll do. There we go. 22nd Army is now a nice size. Oh, you have to go over the water. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, we actually have enough of that. Screw it. Do it. Ah. Oh, no, you have to travel through the Norwegian fleet for that. Oh, that's the... Wait, it's the Danish fleet. I thought the Danish were done. They must have something somewhere. Yeah, we'll just go around later. Uh, should we go to the Swiss? Let's take the Swiss. Let's move a few troops down here. France, how are you still existing? So even the Italians are about to deal with you just fine. Switzerland, declare war. This stuff's mine. Hmm, actually, it's probably not enough, but uh, let's move a bit more down. There we go. Switzerland and Bulgaria have formed the Bulgarian Alliance and they've merged with the British. Romania, please go take Bulgaria. Somebody take Bulgaria. They're taking Yugoslav. That was, actually, that was my territory. Go deal with them. <sighs> Useless. Useless people. Why do I keep these around? Why do I ever make alliances? They don't help. They just make my map horribly ugly and steal France. Well, it makes them more powerful, fine, but... Uh, yeah, no. Oh, damn it. Just come on, deal with it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. See, now you'll take everything. Okay, we should probably go check our thing again, make sure we're producing, but not. There we are. And then let us declare on. Albania can live for a bit. Declare on Greece. They're in the way. Actually, you know, Turkey is more in the way. 
Turkey. War. Oh crap. Right, that's why we weren't supposed to declare random wars in case the USA joined. Right. Oh, that could be an issue. Um, we don't have a navy, so we can never attack the USA. Right. Well, let's go pick something of Turkish to steal. Uh, no, just... No. There. To... You tell me there's no land bridge there. Is that not a land bridge? From, uh, Istanbul. Huh. Well, that could be an issue. All right, Italy has sent alliance off to nationalist Spain. We accept. And the Soviets have declared. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, let's, let's take a look at our uh, diplomatic reports. We now have the Soviet alliance and the American alliance at war with us. It's not great. It's uh, not great at all. Uh, let's just keep moving armies around until something... Actually, no, hold on. Where are you going? You... How strong is that? Just go take... Go take territory. Let's go take all of this stuff off them. That's Hungary's land. That's why it's a different colour. Okay. And how many more can we move over? We can move that over. We can move... That over... A bit more substantial, please. Right, move that over. How is Switzerland not taken? Italy, deal with it. There we go. Okay, Switzerland is done. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Republic in Spain still owns stuff. Uh, oh, I can deal with that easy enough. Let's find. Go straight for the capital. Easy, easiest way to do it. Straight for the capital. Just bang down the centre. Although not that one. You can go for these sort of little bits and pieces over here. Keep, keep the supply lines good. Don't accidentally go losing a load of stuff and supply lines falls. The worst thing you can do. Okay, keep an eye on everything. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Okay, they did lose that, uh, but Romania is moving in to help mop up sort of all the, the extra little bits and pieces. We have a few more tanks down there, and then we'll go have a look at the Eastern Front. Okay. Okay. You can go there, you can go there. Can you take that? You can take that. You can take that, and there, and there. Now we should probably... Alright, what, what is it that Hitler did? Hitler started a land war in winter. Well, crap. To start with. Whoops. Um, but also he went south to Stalingrad instead of north. Now Stalingrad is over there. We need to go to Moscow. That's not enough men. That is not the right way to go. Okay, okay. Where's... We need an army. We need an army. There is not an army. Not an army. That's an army, but that's the only thing defending over here. Um, okay, let's give that some time. I think if we just have... Yeah, this one sweep upwards, we can get into Moscow relatively safely. Uh, <laughs> come on, just take Moscow. It's fine. Definitely completely possible, and the Russians are not at all a dangerous and angry people who will inevitably murder me in about three seconds' time. Let's find out. Hey, you, Moscow. Uh, right, let's go. Set a load of things then. Arms, 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 arms. You need arms. Uh, everyone needs arms. If uh, you don't have arms, you can't fire guns. I mean, guns are like automatic, guns grow on trees, everybody knows that. But you need, you have to build the arms. Nobody's born with arms. 
People think they are, but uh, they actually take the baby out before it's born, and then they put arms on it and then put it back so it can be born. People don't know that, that's what happens. So after everybody goes to sleep, it's the government conspiracy. It's lizard people, that's it, we're all lizard people. No, wait, they all, lizards grow arms. That's like their big thing of lizards, that they just grow shit that they're probably supposed to. I'd say they probably shouldn't, but I'm pretty sure lizards are supposed to have everything they, they have, unless they're not. That's the crazy thing, they're not supposed to have like the tongs and the scales and all that, but we're doing it. No, the lizards are doing it. Wait, which side are the lizards on? Are we the lizards? No, no, the conspiracy is there's other lizards. Bad lizards. What are the good lizards? What are the good lizards? And they're trying to, just trying to help us. Because seriously, we don't know what we're doing. We talk about things like lizard men. The lizard men clearly know what they're doing better, because they don't talk about human men that try and do all sorts of crazy shit. Yes, get nationalist Spain into the bloody alliance. We're taking Spain back, we may, may as well have it. Well, I suppose Romania doesn't want to give its land up, because we have to give it back. Because this counts as, like, Spain. Uh, is it worth taking Portugal? Well, there's no reason not to. Everyone who declare war, who could declare war on us has already declared war on us. There's nothing to lose by just taking a little bit more land. So we may as well do it. Yeah, Portugal joined them, doesn't really matter. Holy crap, just keep making arms. All of the arms, we need all of them. Literally all of them, just more. Uh, probably need more tanks as well, but oh, I can't do that. It's very expensive. We need more goods as well. Why aren't we producing enough shit? We're, we're making everything. All we've been doing is taking more and more stuff. Right, where is the thing that tells me? Production losses. Oh, oil shortage. Let's buy all the oil then. Let's buy all of Venezuela's oil, buy all of Persia's oil, buy all of Iraq's oil. Yeah, we need to go and steal some oil. Who has oil? Actually, down here has oil. There's two, there's 59, three, 25. I know there's a big one around here somewhere. No, it's not that one. Uh, let's just, right, you go. Yeah, go and take all of this oil. It's mine. Well, it will be. It should be. Rightfully, it obviously should be mine. What do the Russians know what to do with oil? They think it's like black vodka. That's what they call it. So if you, if you order a black Russian, they'll just give you a, they'll just give you a, like a cocktail glass full of oil, and uh, it'll probably kill you if you drink it. To be honest, so don't drink it. Don't ever just drink pure crude oil. It's probably a terrible idea. Turkey, whose side are you on? Oh, the Americans. Oh right, well we, yeah, that's 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 our oil, so. Yeah, we're just going to be taking that. We're also going to go and take the Persians' oil in a minute. They were actually buying it off the Persians, but never mind. We're going to go take Iran's and... Who has the most oil? Saudi Arabia? No. There's just not enough oil in the world to fuel all these bloody tanks I'm trying to make. Look at all of those resort production losses. Output. Where, where's the thing? What is... Output. Right. Complete mil right, what what uses oil? That is the question. Stop our supply rate demand 415. But which one of these Hold on, let's actually go and pick a city. Right, Berlin. Right, arms require one oil apiece. And advanced tanks don't so it's just arms. It's just for the arms that require the oil. And we need so many arms that we don't have enough oil for it. Right, can we maximise the production of any? Hold on, uh, type, oil, just maximise the lot of it. There are a lot of cultural losses of it apparently, but those should subside eventually. Come on, take all the oil, need it needs it. It's oil. It's useful. It's very useful. Let's shoot. Don't really know what it does. You burn it. You burn it and things move. That's all I know. Uh, oh god, the Russians are coming back. Right, okay. Peace offer. Offers us... We can keep the stuff and have military access. 
And that means we can go take China and deal with a few other things. Okay, you know what? We'll accept it. Right, we have a temporary alliance with the USSR. We can use that to go maybe uh, defeat China, get Japan into the rest of the war, and just consolidate our forces a little bit more. So, I'll call that there. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and tune in next time to see more war. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.